Welcome back. Uh, let's start last peaceful month. It's already end of July, August behind the corner. And after that it's either Danzig or war. No need, no need. Or the, okay, those are those uh, division HQs, if I recall. Let's just continue. Oh, popularity dropped, sadly. Okay. Sixty percent chances. Fourth attempt. It's hilarious sometimes. <sighs> I wonder if it works. Okay, it works because I had this event work uh, for me already. Let's attach this division to so some random corp. Okay. <sighs> Whole plan about. Uh, Reducing revolt risk to zero, zero was based on researching this tech, and it worked once in the last three years. Hilarious. Or to be more precise, Hitlerius. Interceptors are being completed. Uh, well, almost. Let's add another bunch of interceptors and light bombers. Their production will speed up once I take Romania. Oh, I have minus money. Why? Why Switzerland is not giving me any money? Yeah, it's not a big problem. Now, let's just be patient and wait. Silence before the storm. Some tech is researched. Uh, which one? You need command, so this. Okay, go here. Or this one first. Every division has some direct, uh, direct fire brigade. So more divisions will benefit from researching this tech. Okay, those guys work. I don't have elite infantry here. So attach those guys to this division and let's little more let's wait a little longer. Okay, I still didn't hit one hundred and ten officer's ratio. But it's not a huge issue. No need, no need and no need. Okay. Let's sign Ribbentrop mod of Pact. Those ones I ignore. This one goes on the map. Oh, yeah, but where exactly? Yeah, should have checked the description before I clicked it. Maybe somewhere here? Yes, it's here. 
Okay, move it to this location. I think this general wasn't assigned to any division. So no need to browse. So please, issues? Why? I have convoy here. Okay, once again this game hates me. And I hate it back. Let's uh, do this. And in a minute... Okay. Finally, September 1st, so I will save the game anyway, despite having autosave. Okay, let's go. Danzig or war. Okay. Let's take some decisions. Blitzkrieg. Form wartime measures, extra 100 manpower, minus 3 to revolt risk, so yeah, let's take it. Uh, Blitzkrieg, of course, take it. And now fleet, uh, let's take large one, since I will need uh, quite a lot of those auxiliary vessels, but before I do this uh, let's change some things here. Soft attack plus 10%, so let's go with this guy. And here for now stay I'll leave it as it is. Here I will switch to heavy industry. And let's go with war economy since uh, right now uh, it's actually better choice with bigger reduction of consumer goods demand during wartime. So let's do this and right now move those guys to the top of the queue, so I will have them ready for action on the September 2nd. Let's slow down a bit and proceed to not attacking Poland <laughs> with those divisions. Kinda retarded si situation, but... Oh, this one is retarded si situation. I forgot to assign leaders here. That happens when I focus too much about on talking and not enough on playing. Yes, it sounds like like an excuse. Sorry about that. But it's nothing dramatic. Uh, this much organization will be enough against Poland. Oh no, you attack here. And those guys go here. Okay, one of those divisions still have some uh, some supply, so it will attack Danzig right from the start. This division will support attack here. It's actually slightly longer way toward, uh, towards Warsaw, but here, here, and here I have planes and attacking that infantry division the gap in, in forest is sometimes very difficult task. So, okay, this one division goes here. Oh, Gdynia unprotected, which is actually perfect. You guys go here. Those attacks by infantry divisions are basically only to increase battle count for those techs. They don't have uh, much of a tactical or strategic value. Basically, they have no value at all. Okay. 
so that battle count is only thing that matters right now. And you go here. Okay, wait with Romania, let's deal with Poland first. Uh, some airplanes here, so go with A superiority here. And those guys will wait for Polish units now. You be nice and attack here. Those guys will support attack. Let's see if they will fit in with slightly nerfed uh, combat wide. Okay, I can send those guys here. I have some interceptors here to provide air cover, just in case. And 35 spur, I see. So let's add, that, uh, add two more Panzer Divisions to the queue. Okay, uh, Poland is being attacked. Yeah, bad luck, they moved one division exactly to the province that I didn't want them to. <sighs> but that's not a problem. Denmark declare limited war. Conquer. Romania, okay, and I think now I have to decide what to do with them. Let's think for a minute longer. Mm. No, France. Let's already add, retake our course. As usual, if anyone knows how I play, I won't be creating Vichy France. Okay, those guys aren't too smart, no defending at all. Let's just do air superiority over this province and not with that unit, with that one. Okay, let's go against Netherlands with Conquer War Goal, also mostly undefended border, no, not you, 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 not you, same here. Okay, those guys can move here and here. No, they will support attack only. Okay, this one is ready and now let's get back to meditation about how to deal with Romania. Puppeting them won't give me that effect. Which gives quite, quite nice bonuses and a lot of them they aren't actually fitting into the screen. So maybe let's just conquer them, no, too much area to protect, extra revolt risk. Okay, I think I will need to puppet them anyway. Let's check one thing. Okay, they are very closely aligned. Oh, 
Okay, let's risk a bit. I will... Okay, now if anyone knows how this region is called... Was it on the work goal list? Yes, top region. So, let's also attack Romania. Again, quite a wait. Won't be a across the river. Yeah. So, let's do this like this. Probably same here. Mook out, whatever. Okay. I They have two divisions here, so... I will simply keep them busy with that attack. Oh, you. Let's deal with that division quickly. Uh, with interdiction bombing. And attack also this division. Okay, did I miss something? Poland is attacked, Romania is attacked. Same it's France and Netherlands. Denmark will be dealt soon. Okay, I can unpause. Lots of battles right from the start. And let's just wait for first effect and see if there are any strategic bombers. Oh, nice, all divisions fit in. Fort modifiers at the beginning are traditionally very low. So let's just let them grind against Marginot line. Oh, Polish planes already running somewhere. Let them be. Okay, my planes got intercepted, so let's Retreat them and intercept those guys with my own interceptors. And let's see from where they came. And as I was saying, this battle is already over. Do I, yes, here I will need some air support. This battle is going very slow. Yeah, this one as always is slow. It's nothing new. And bomb that cavalry unit to speed things up a little. This one is 99 so let's leave it as it is. Okay. Almost all battles on the border of Poland are done. Sadly there's cavalry here, so I won't be able to overrun this unit. Unless it has some slower units. I can see, can see those last two. So I will need to uh, attack it once again. Okay. And here is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, British bombers are attacking Northhorn and French bombers I bet are going here. So You guys go on air superiority mission over here. 
and somewhere here I should have, yes, air intercept, give them slightly bigger area to attack. And let's see what happens. Oh, they also are bombing me here, which is something new, actually. I think I have some spur interceptors here, so... I can send them there. Okay, this battle will, will be over very, very soon. They also have only one infantry here. All those provinces are empty. Yeah, those guys got intercepted once again. Oh, very high popularity again. German-Soviet commercial agreement. Yeah, let's take it. Right now it's kinda useful. Those guys and those guys. Let's take all. And auxiliary vessels. Now, long-range ones will go here. And we'll help with transporting those units and short ones. Will allow me to attack Copenhagen right from the start. Okay, I have how many? 18 ships. I need to. I'm not sure if I can launch naval invasion on those two provinces from this one. So let's split them into three fleets. And. Jump in, guys. You go here. And let's just wait for them to move. Okay. This battle is over, so I can move here. And those guys surrender it, which is nice. Another seven wasted, I see. What I should add now? More infrastructure. Okay. Now. Let's move this one here. Oh, I think I can attack all those provinces from one uh, sea province, which is quite nice. And let's move those guys here to provide cover. Okay, this division will probably get overrun right now. 8 kilometers per hour control versus standard infantry division. Now you guys bomb this province. But yeah. One division goes here. Those two here and rest will be... Oh, I also need to attack this province. What's next? Next is waiting. Oh, 
I forgot to keep track of those French bombers. But I don't think they will return quickly. Oh. A little surprise, didn't expect that, that division here. Oh, I also will need to bomb this headquarter to speed up a little advance of my mobile forces. Okay, there's no time, so let's attack them right from the start. Okay, you guys go here. Okay, let's take a small risk and already move that division here. And last one. So, now it's time to actually give orders for naval invasions to, on those three provinces. Okay, let's, let's move one more division here and see how it goes. And let's scout Warsaw. Okay, it's it's looking good. You guys go here. Another battle is over. here and you go here. Those guys finally gave up. Naval invasion already started here. Those will start soon. Okay. Deal with that. Kioskopiawa, let it let it wait. Okay, this will take some time so let them simple let them fight and don't interrupt them now let's add another four interceptors to the queue oh and i already have battle here and let's send interceptors to deal with enemy carrier air group and let's hope I won't lose any submarines here okay let's move those guys here Rogoźno battle is over those guys can move instantly to attacking uh, Gdańsk. Oh, those guys can finally attack. And you go and bomb this province, which is prob probably defended by Dutch army. Denmark, actually. Uh, Isenburg, 1%. Okay, I'm fine with that. This battle is also over, so let's move those guys here, and you go here. Yeah, once this divisions, division gets here, those two divisions will be surrounded, which is quite nice, and it looks like... I will manage to overrun that cavalry division. Yes. I did that. And I... Or maybe this is the one? I don't know now. No, it's some other division. Okay, here I can also move 
all my units. Battle in Groningen is also over. Okay, I probably won't manage to uh, conquer Petuva before those divisions retreat there. Yeah, so let's let's stop for now and leave the rest for next part.